The North Alabama cancer doctor is at the center of the wrongful death lawsuit. Dr. Sammy Beckdash had his medical license permanently revoked last year after the Medical Licensure Committee uh, Commission of Alabama said he provided drugs to a 21-year-old woman that he had a sexual relationship with. She died of an overdose. Now that wrongful death lawsuit names the woman as Caitlin Whitworth. Whitworth's mother filed the lawsuit on her behalf. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with the latest developments in this case. Dallas. That's right. According to the civil complaint, the young woman's mother is not only soon suing Dr. Sammy Beckdash, but also Walgreens, who she claims filled fraudulent prescriptions written by Beckdash for her daughter in Birmingham, Huntsville, and Decatur, Alabama. The victim's mother claims Beckdash had a sexual relationship with her daughter beginning in 2017 when the victim was only 18 years old and he was married with children. The lawsuit alleges Beck Dash wrote prescriptions for the young woman on a number of occasions and attempted to legitimize them by orchestrating a fake patient physician relationship at Clearview, Clearview Cancer Institute in Decatur. The victim did not have cancer. The victim's mother also claims Beck Dash continued to use opioids to control her daughter on and off until her death in December 2020. Now, Beck Dash told the State Medical Licensure Commission during its investigation he had sex with the victim on more than one occasion and wrote at least seven prescriptions for her. The doctor also admitted to paying some of the woman's living expenses, giving her gifts, and engaging in a sexual relationship with her between the fall of 2017 and December 2020. Again, the state permanently revoked his license, and under those terms, he will not be allowed to practice medicine in the state of Alabama ever again. Now, as I mentioned, the victim's mom is also suing Walgreens. She claims the corporation failed to recognize the red flags of drug abuse and did not do its due diligence in verifying whether the prescriptions were legitimate. I've reached out to Walgreens corporate for comment to no avail. And right now, Beck Dash does not have an attorney listed in court records. Of course, you can find our previous reporting on this matter on our website, whnt.com.